Hey guys, Michael Clark here with Fan Weather and the Weather Portal. Wanted to give you a detailed tutorial of the Enhanced Plus application here with the Weather Portal and basically all of the tools and features and value added benefits that you get from it. It's very important that you at least try to check out what I'm about to tell you so you know how to use what it is that you're paying for. First and foremost here, this is the dashboard. If you were to have multiple locations, this is where you would find uh, the ability to see the status of each location. For example, you may see one alert or all clear, or we even see that we have uh, unread chat notifications from our meteorologist. There's three of those there and one alert. We would click on that and go into that spot. And what you would see here is down on the bottom right, you'll see an orange light in the chat. All right, this is gonna be probably the most important feature in the application because we're gonna send direct communication from our meteorologists, all right, to you. Whether it's looking at forecast updates that we believe uh, the hour by hour may not be seeing or that things that are critical that you need to know, we're gonna be sending those directly to your chat here, uh, really at any time. You can also message through the chat and ask any question you want, as you can see here in the example below. The orange light goes away, it means you've read the notification, go back to the home dashboard the notification is gone all right so otherwise guys we do have the um, the screen here the, this is the now screen current conditions uh, temperature dew point wind pressure all that and we have the next few hours listed below click on here to the forecast this will take us out through the next 36 hours it updates every hour you're gonna have several things here you're gonna have the time of the update all right, the time of the forecast hour you're looking at. And then you're also going to have things like the icon, cloud cover percentage, the percent chance of rain, the relative humidity. You'll have a range of precipitation possible uh, throughout your specific location. You'll have the dew point temperature, the feels like temperature, all right, which is listed across the top. And you've got wind speed, direction and gust and visibility. Again, this all goes out to 36 hours. And how I got to that is important because some people don't know about this screen. You can go to the now and click on an hour or you go to the 36 hour and you simply click on an hour and it takes you to the expanded screen here for your hour by hour forecast. This here, these red icons you're seeing mixed in with some yellow, this is our spray forecast. You're gonna have three icons. It's gonna be green, yellow, or red, which means Green means go, yellow means caution, and red means we advise not to spray. But this is going to tell you when to apply chemicals, pesticides, fungicides, fertilizers, things like that, based on the weather forecast and the weather parameters that are in the application. Okay, that goes out 36 hours as well. All right, this is again the quick view of the hourly. This is the chance of precip. And like I said, if I want more information, all I gotta do is click on it, and it takes me into the expanded screen of the hour by hour forecast. Here's a look at your 10 day. Your 10 day is gonna have all kinds of tools on it. All right, we're gonna have the day, the, the obviously the weather icon, the high and the low. And then we have a new added section here, which is our confidence and trend section of our forecast. At any time, if you wanna know more about it, you just click that little info icon. It will explain to you more about confidence and trend. The confidence is on a scale of one to five. Five being we're very confident, the lower number means we're not. The trend arrow means the average of the weather model runs here over the last two days is that the trend is getting wetter or the trend is getting drier if you have the down arrow. If you have the dash, it means there is no trend. It's just staying even, okay? Then we have the AM and PM percent chance of rain. Your minimum and maximum precip. Your maximum really is kind of, uh, let's call it worst case scenario. And your minimum is more of along the lines of, you know, possibly the most likely or the, the, the outcome that's easier to achieve. Okay, snow and ice, which we know we don't have any of that right now, but we get into winter time, we will. Relative humidity forecast, your growing degree unit forecast, evaporative transpiration rate, soil temperature forecast for the top four inches of soil, your dew point temperature forecast, and then here's a spray forecast that goes out for the entire 10 day period. You can see some better conditions may arrive here into the weekend as we have a nice a cool forecast without a lot of rain there right in this particular outcome and then we have last year's data 
and the averages. So this is what it was like last year at this time. This is what it's averaged out over the last 30 years in that 10 day chart. This updates four times per day. Your chances tab, this is gonna highlight uh, more extreme potential outcomes. It's gonna give you the most likely, but it's gonna highlight what high end outcomes might be like. A good example of this would be in your precipitation, okay? Uh, in, in certain situations, you may have the most likely forecast at 0.9 inches of rain, but there's some more extreme computer models that are gonna highlight the potential of 1.6 to maybe even 2.5 inches of rain. Simply tapping on this to get the different types of parameters to show up. The orange light for the video right here means you haven't seen the newest video. You click on that, it takes you to the new video. Once you, you click on it, the orange light goes away, which means you've seen the video. Okay, long range section, same thing. Orange light, which means there's a new video. This is where you're gonna get the long range video. You're gonna get our week one and two temperature outlooks all the way out to the next four months. The maps section, you're gonna get 24 hour rainfall maps. Then you're gonna get seven day rainfall maps for not only the state you're in, but for the country as well. Then you're gonna get our impactful weather outlook. This is hand drawn by our meteorologist to highlight three to seven day hazardous weather and our day one and day two excessive rainfall and severe weather forecasts. Radar, okay, so the radar is a fully interactive MRMS display, okay, that's going to show you uh, really a number of things. There's all kinds of different layers here. We have uh, the alerts, we turn on the, we have actual custom alerts right now. We have flood watches out, this is a BAM alert, and then this is the NWS alert, okay. We also have the ability to look at our future radar. Okay, we'll turn on that future radar product and we'll turn off all these alerts here. And we can hit the play button. It's just gonna show us what to expect here over the course of the next 18 hours in 30 minute increments. See in this particular instance, some rain may work in later. There's all kinds of layers here to play with. You can look at the potential at uh, severe weather or the amount of rainfall that's been observed. This is a popular one because the 48 hour rainfall, 24 hour rainfall maps, you can turn on the satellite base map. You can zoom down into street or field level and get a view here of, you know, what you're looking at in terms of how much rain has fallen. Okay. So a really, really neat tool that can tell you rainfall anywhere at any time. Okay. Then you have all of your observed snowfall, severe weather outlooks. We have storm tracks we can turn on change the colors of the maps in the background. There's all kinds of tools here that you can see. We just don't have time to talk about all of them, but there are a lot of them. If you do have lightning, real quick, I would like to touch on that. Okay, if you do have lightning in the application, go back to your home screen and where this pencil is, you click on that pencil, you can go to lightning and you can adjust thresholds very easily. You can type on them here, so I could put five in if I want, not 58, but we want five. And then we want uh, 15 in this one. Keep it at 30. You would simply hit save. You would go back to the radar and you would see that the range rings have adjusted to five, 15, and 30 mile increments for your lightning, okay? There are also other things you can adjust here. All right, your custom threshold alerts that we, we, that we provide here. This is a, a value added product here from BAM Weather. Heat index, wind chill, wind, you can adjust these by turning them off and on. Very simple to do, okay? And you can also be notified when certain things enter the forecast like snow, freezing rain, or rain. Anytime that stuff enters the forecast, you'll get those alerts sent to your device so you're not caught off guard by that. So that's kind of a, a generalized rundown of the application. Um, if you have any questions, please be sure to contact the representative that signed you up or get in touch with us and we are happy to assist you. Just wanna make sure you know how to use everything in the weather portal. Thanks for trusting us. Have a great day.